Hi there. Today I'm going to be making a celery soup using the Ninja Blender that has a soup making function built in. It's a really simple recipe which only takes a few ingredients. First up, I'm going to be adding three cloves of garlic, which I've peeled. I haven't bothered to slice them or crush them. That's because the Ninja does a really good job of slicing them up when it gets going. Next, I'm adding a potato that's been washed and chopped. I don't bother peeling the skin off. And then I'm adding some celery, which has been washed and chopped. So next I add in the stock. Um, I tend to just use a stock pot that I buy from the supermarket because it's just really easy to have them on standby in the cupboard. So I've added a vegetable stock pot to this one but you can add what stock you want or you can use your own homemade stock or a stock cube, whichever one you find easier. So next you need to add in some boiling water. You just pour it straight into the soup maker jug all the way up to the maximum line, which you'll see on the outside. And that's it, you're all set to go. Just need to pop the lid back onto the jug, twist it round, it's really easy to do. So you can see the water levels up to the maximum there, which is 1400 millilitres. Next, we just need to switch it on, you'll get a nice hello, welcome message and then lastly we hit the smooth soup button and it will set it for 30 minutes and you can go off and do something else while you wait. So you can see at various different times through the soup maker cycle it's doing different things, it's bubbling away, it's blending, it's just generally cooking the soup for you. So all you need to do is come out back at the end and pour it into a bowl and enjoy it. Strangely fascinating watching the soup maker do its work. Um, or maybe that's just me that gets easily distracted. So the soup is ready. Um, I've taken the lid off and you can see it's all blended up. It's a nice celery green colour. So we can easily just lift the jug off the unit and pour it into a bowl. If you want to make the soup any thicker or creamier, you can just stir in some cream. Or if you want to make it thicker at the beginning, you can just add in an extra potato or less stock. Um, just depends how you like the consistency of your soup, really. Um, I also like to season it afterwards, uh, maybe add in some croutons or something to give it a bit of extra taste and texture. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.